morning. I'm gonna talk to you while I walk around because I got a lot to do this morning. Um, so I didn't turn my speaker on. Actually, I'm gonna wait because I'm talking to you guys anyway. So I want to redo a bulletin board. Hold on, I'm gonna put you down real quick. to redo a bulletin board and I know you guys can see me back there um so I want to redo a bulletin board and I kind of want to turn it into a what we're reading because my kids they like reading but they're not like overly you are really crooked um they're not like overly excited about it so I have this bulletin board out in the hallway that I did back in August and I haven't changed it literally since the first day of school when I put their little mini superheroes up so I am going to change it into a what we're reading board and basically I'm just going to take all of this down I'm going to put black up and then the way that it's going to work is after they are done reading then they will put the book up there with a very short summary. I'm thinking of maybe just throwing it on a post-it or I might give them a template. And they're also gonna have gold stars. So I'm gonna give them yellow stars and they are going to give the book a star rating. So that way, fourth grade next door can see what they're reading. I'm gonna put our novel study up there and I'm even gonna put what I'm reading because I want the kids to know that I read too. Um, and also I think in, I promise I actually did my hair today, but I definitely need to fix that. But also in my lost vlog footage, um, AKA the one I didn't post two weekends ago, I did something to my mirror and I haven't showed you guys. And if you're not on my Instagram, you don't know. So I'm gonna show you real quick. So I think kids need like constant reminders about how wonderful they are. So I put, and it's really hard to see, uh, but I put you are up there and then it just says important handsome, respected, kind, smart. Oh, if I stand in front of it, you can see it. Smart, valued, and beautiful. So when that way, when they are washing their hands or they're in the mirror or anything, they can see themselves in the mirror. I am in the process of getting rid of that chair. It's one of my students' chairs, um, but he has switched to a regular chair. Uh, he kind of has some physical needs that need to be met, but unfortunately that chair doesn't meet his needs anymore. The box in there is his. I need to throw out the fish tank box. I'm honestly about to get rid of this, even though I just bought it, but I just, we don't use it. And our good morning SOP is not even valid anymore. And then these bags need to get put away. And I have yet to find a space because they uh, are from the concessions that we did not sell a couple weeks ago for student council as are these bananas, which I'm actually gonna throw out right now. And I don't think those clementines are any good either. So I'm gonna save the apples because my kids do love apples. This is our breakfast share basket. So anything that the kids don't want to go in here. Um, I do need to take that fish tank back out to the stage, which I actually may run and do that real quick. And then I pulled out these fraction towers. This is a student resource shelf. Um, that's just kind of what it's been called. So all of their finished work goes in there. Anything that goes to me or the office goes in there. I have their writer's workshop folders here, their weekly work folders. These are mine. They're not allowed to touch those. Um, their math workbooks. And then I pulled out their fraction towers and these two ones go in those. They just don't fit in the containers. And then they have their reading street textbooks. That is where Oh, someone didn't take home their holes because I only am supposed to have two in there. But their holes, our insanely old social studies curriculums, some atlases, and some more math resources. So that's that. And then I need to update that because I haven't changed the date. Today is January something. I watch is playing music, so I don't know. 25th, 26th, 27th. Today's 28th, I think. But I need to update that. So I'm going to... And you also need to laminate. I need to get all of this cleaned up. I left it here in a hurry on Friday knowing, oh, I don't think my plant's going to make it. I'm pretty sure he's done. Yeah, he's done. I'm going to pull off all the dead stuff and hope that he will sprout some new ones. That's a bummer. This one came back to life. This one's back. This one's sunburned. I'm definitely going to need to close the shades or move all of these plants, but... I'm going to sit here, get this stuff cleaned up. I need to laminate some stuff for math and all of that good stuff. So I'm going to get to work.
This is probably the most productive planning period I've ever had in my life. Uh, so I deleted Facebook over the weekend and I really wasn't on it that much, but I was on it entirely too much. And the only time I checked it during the day was during my prep. So I deleted it and let me tell you, I get so much more done. Sorry, I had to close that. It was just too bright and I'm sweating, which is not like me. But anyway, so I got these laminated and cut out and I will link these down in the description. So these are just our flashcards for fractions. So I got these done. I printed off the teacher copy of a fractions flip book. And this is what I'm gonna be doing in small groups with my kids. And I printed off their copy. So I already put them out on their tables because they are in specials until 935 and they still have to come in and move their chairs from morning circle to their seat. So I got these on their tables. Everyone has a pair of scissors, so they just have to cut them out and then I'm gonna come around and staple them. So that is done. I got their weekly work for ELA runoff and stapled and those are in the bin ready to be handed out this afternoon. And I got their, oh I need to do that. Okay. I got their math directions up on the board, but I do put on the backboard, I put our I can statement coupled with their rotations and the description. So I'm gonna get this up real quick, that way I can show you how I do my math block. So while that's up, I will show you this. So I, our math centers are M for Miss Mar, which means they are with me. A is at your seat, it's independent work. T is technology, so that is like Khan or Moby Max. And then H is hands on, and it's usually like a game or assignment like that. And I just specifically told them we will not get to all stations today, but we'll continue tomorrow. And then over there it says, finish, do sunshine math. So they all know what that means. And then on this backboard, I state our I can statement, which my board is still, still warming up. So I'm gonna try to show you guys this, but it just shows our I can statement. And then over here, it just has the stations and then the students' names. And it's really hard to see, because like I said, it's warming up, but I have to get them in like a minute, so. There is that, actually I can shut this off and probably show you. There we go. Uh, so it just shows our I can statement and then down this side is a reminder of what each station is. And they know that you go from M to A, A to T, T to H, H back up to M. So it just has our I can statement and then who is in each group. And that is our board. So in small group today, I am just going to sit and explain reducing fractions, which is perfect because tomorrow we are talking about adding fractions, or not tomorrow, I think it's the date, yeah. A couple days from now. So I have my formal observation this week, so uh, it's just, it's a lot to do. So um, yeah, I, that, that's the plan for today. So I'm gonna walk through with them and talk about how to find their lowest, um, their lowest terms. So, I am excited for math. I really enjoy this new setup that we have, but I have to pick them up from specials in one minute. I'm going to sit here, enjoy what's left of my coffee, and then I'm gonna go get them. And we are going to rock math today. Good morning. It is, uh, today is Tuesday, and it is January 29th. I have about 30 minutes before I have to go down to meet with my principal. Today is my pre-conference for my formal observations. So I need to print off, I came up with a very rough lesson plan. Um, so I need to print that off. Give me one second while I pour this. Mm. My regular girl was there and she made my coffee and it is delicious. Like I was saying, uh, today is my pre-conference for my formal observation. My formal observation is Thursday the 31st. And I'm honestly like, I'm excited about it. I'm not nervous, at least not yet. I don't know if I will be, um, but she's already been in my room two or three times this year. Plus she is a teaching principal. So she has come into my classroom every single day since the start of the school year because she is our Title I teacher, so she comes in to pull a student. So honestly, she sees me teaching like every single day anyway. So I'm really, I'm just, I'm not that concerned. Um, the only thing that I'm nervous about is my kids are so all over the place with fractions. 
So I am doing a different approach with fractions. So um, today I am going to work on simplifying fractions because when she's here, she's going to see a lesson on adding fractions with unlike denominators. So yeah, wish me luck. Um, but like I said, like I'm really not nervous. Um, I am trying to find, uh, I know in our, I, my, um, teacher next door, she told me that she had already gone performance evaluation professional growth program. Um, she already had her pre-conference and her formal. I don't think she's had her post conference yet, but sorry, my hair is like super staticky. It's sticking to my face, but uh, she told me that one of the questions that she will ask is what does PEPG stand for, which is our, um, like our observation type thing. It's just performance evaluation and professional growth program. So ugh, I need to remember that. But uh, she also told me a couple of the things that she asked just so I'm prepared. But honestly, like I didn't know what she was talking about. And I would rather go into this honestly and truthfully and not try to look like an all-star. Uh, there's one of the questions I know she's going to ask me and I'm not going to know. And I would rather tell her that I don't know, please inform me, teach me. Like I want to learn these things than pretend like I know it all because I don't, it would be me reading something and not actually understanding it. So there's that. And this hair is driving me insane. Oh, I want to show you real quick what I made yesterday. Hold on one second. So as you guys know, on my students' tables, I put these Ikea frames and on this side it has the before you write, speak or post, think, is it true, is it helpful, is it inspiring, is it necessary, and is it kind. So we, I was putting um, quotes on the other side. At first I was doing it weekly, then I switched to monthly, and then I realized that I haven't been keeping up with it. I think the last time I changed it was December, December 1st. So I decided... I would use it for a different purpose. So I created these levels of understanding, which I, rewind, I did not create them. They're all over the internet, but I created this specific template of it. And I do need to shrink it down because it doesn't like stay within the constraints of the frame, but that's fine. The kids know what it says. So it just says levels of understanding. And if you can see, um, that is where I kind of, fudged up a little bit and it cuts off, but it's just levels of understanding. And then it's four, three, two, and one. And four is, un I understand basically what I'm learning. Hello, YouTube. I'm gonna close all the cabinets because that was horrible. Ah. So clearly I'm at home. I ended up going to the gym like immediately after school and I ended up having a meeting immediately after school. So my kids dismiss at 2.55. By the time pickups and both buses are actually dismissed, it's three o'clock. I had a meeting at three o'clock. The parent, however, did not actually leave her place of employment, which is about 20 minutes away, until three on the dot. So, so things were kind of pushed back, which is fine, no big deal. And so our meeting didn't start until close to 3.30. I had the child in my room until his parent got there. While he was there, I kind of just picked up, got some things ready for tomorrow. I also started breaking down my bulletin board and all that good stuff. So then came home, went to the gym because I just, I needed a release. So gym session number two of the day. And I came home to a ton of Amazon packages. Some of them are my boyfriends. I ordered for him because he doesn't have Prime. Don't ask. So I ordered stuff for him. And I also ordered stuff for me. So I'm going to turn this around and show you real quick. Okay. So item number one that I ordered is this Who's That Stepping on Plymouth Rock book by Jean Fritz. Another thing that I purchased is this American Colonies book by Alan Taylor. It is pretty thick, uh, as you can see. It's just, it's lengthy. I mean, it's broken up into time periods, and I like that it is, like I said, broken up into it. So the encounters, so it's all the different countries, and then colonies, and it continues over here. So I can pull my teachings from this and I'll probably kind of annotate in it and highlight and use post-its and all of that good stuff. 
The third thing that I ordered, <laughs> funny story, is border trim. I was sent the wrong border trim. Um, this is called Jumbo Leaves, and I was sent the wrong item. What I was sent, or supposed to be sent, I'm sorry, was a black and white border trim, and I will show you a picture how this came about. I honestly have no idea. As you can see, it is black and white, and not this. I'm not sure how this happened, but it's kind of a bummer because now I have to order this again, and yeah, I'm just, I'm not thrilled. So, it is what it is, everything, everything happens for a reason, so I am just going to figure out a different border trim to use. But, I'm gonna finish making dinner. It is 6.20, I'm usually in bed by seven, and I am still cooking dinner. I have yet to eat. Why am I blurry? There we go. Um, so, I'm going to focus on getting my dinner and my lunches made for tomorrow, and all that good stuff, and I will talk to you guys in the morning. I don't know if we're gonna have school tomorrow. We are getting three to six inches of snow tonight, and it's supposed to start pretty early. So I'm hoping at least, best case, we have a two hour delay. That way I can spend some time at the gym in the morning. Uh, but we'll see if I end up having school. Regardless, I will catch up with you guys in the morning. Good morning. It is Wednesday, it is 7.22, and I am still at home, as you can tell. Uh, we had no snow day today, but we do have a two hour delay and I'm very excited because this morning I got to work out at the gym for an hour and a half instead of like 45 to 60 minutes is usually what I average. Uh, so I am really excited about that. I got home at seven and I am just taking my time getting ready. I actually like did my hair and I'm waiting for my curls to fall because I hate when they're like big. Um, so I'm just waiting for these to fall and then I'm gonna head to school. I have some exciting news to share with you guys, but I'm gonna share it from my favorite place, my classroom, and I have to stop at Dunkin'. I'm gonna get myself some coffee this morning and all that good stuff. So I'm gonna finish getting ready, let my dogs out, head to school, and I will catch up with you guys when I get there. Again, uh, it is 8.03 and I'm at school. Kids are not being admitted into the classroom so the bell won't ring until two hours after normal dismissal. Normally kids are coming into the room at 10.30, or I'm sorry, at 8.30, which means we have to be here at 7.40, so today it's 10.30 and 9.40. So I have like two and a half hours before I have students come into my room. And the reason I'm here early is because I have a couple things that I wanted to get done after school this week and I figured, hey, if I'm gonna get up at normal time anyway, why not go in early and get everything done so I don't have to stay late. So there's that. Um, so I have some exciting news and I, it took everything in my power. Hold on one second. Sorry, that was actually one of our school bus drivers. I happened to be behind her the entire like eight mile two lane road to school and she was going very slow. Um, and by slow, I mean like 25 and a 45, but the roads are really icy and slushy and it's just raining and it's just nasty out. And she actually came into my room to thank me for my patience because I literally was behind her the entire way. And she's like, people would be cursing at me and swearing at me and riding my butt. And she's like, and people probably would have passed me. And I was like, you know what? I'm gonna tell you what I tell everyone else. I may have four wheel drive and in the past I've had all wheel drive, but it is not four wheel stop or all wheel stop. So I, <coughs> I was just like, I find it so sad that you even have to thank me for that. But anytime, like, I want you here in one piece. I want to get there in one piece. I want you in one piece so you can bring my students in one piece. Like, it's just one giant web. So, anyway, today I woke up to an email um, from a local news reporter. Two weeks ago, I had done an interview for our local newspaper called the Penn Bay Pilot, and I never heard anything back. Um, I answered 15 questions for them. He reached out to me about my YouTube channel, which I'm talking to you guys on, and I never heard anything back. And, you know, I probably would have been upset, but like, I was torn. I love the fact that, I, I honestly, I don't know how they found me. I have no idea. And I really want to ask them that question. I completely forgot when I sent them, like when I talked to them for the interview. Uh, I don't know how they found me, but I'm glad they did. 
Now, the other half of me was like, oh my gosh, there is no turning back if this goes public. Like the world now knows about my YouTube channel, which I haven't exactly been secretive about it, but I actually, like I haven't actually been like out there, you know, posting on Facebook about it. People know, and if they ask for my channel, if I know them personally, unless they're family, like I ignore the messages. But I have been forcing myself to go outside my comfort zone. That is my goal this year. I want to be intentional and I want to be uncomfortable. I feel like we learn so much when we're uncomfortable. And I'm telling my kids all the time that some level of uncomfort is amazing for you. That's where you learn. That's where you grow. So I'm taking my own advice and I'm being intentional and uncomfortable. So I woke up to an email from the reporter that my story went live last night and I was just... It's so crazy to see a picture of me and an article about me. So I will link that in the description down below if it's something you're interested in reading. And I'm just so glad that he took time, like he really talked about me as a person. I started this channel to spread positivity, to bring light to what teaching is. It's not always rainbows and butterflies, but honestly, I love what I do and you have to have heart to be a teacher. You have to be passionate. You have to be here for the kids. You are not in it for the paycheck. You're not in it for the fame. So. I'm just glad that he really portrayed what I wanted to. Um, I want it to be a place of positivity. I want it to be a place of happiness, a place of inspiration, a place of tips and tricks. And yes, there are days where I'm venting, but we're human. Like that has to happen. It's not always rainbows and butterflies. So um, he talked about my YouTube channel. He also talked about my photography because I've talked to you guys about it. I do photography. I run a photography business. It's more in the summer. Um, just because teaching and YouTube takes up so much time, but it is something that I do. I do senior sessions, I've done weddings, I do mostly pet portraits, but I'm branching out into newborn and senior sessions. And it's just, life has been crazy lately and I am loving this road that I'm on. I don't know what I did to deserve it, but every wrong path I have taken has guided to me, has guided me to where I'm supposed to be. So that was my exciting news for the day. In other news, Yesterday, I started breaking down my bulletin board that's out in the hallway because I'm putting together a bulletin board about what we're reading. So my kids like to read, but they're not like over the moon excited about reading. So I am breaking down our superhero headquarters bulletin board, which I will insert a picture. If I remember, I'm really bad at remembering that stuff, but if I can remember, I will insert a picture or a video or something of what it looked like from September until almost February because I started breaking it down yesterday. So I'm going to go out in the hallway and show you real quick what I did. So I broke it down. Hello. Good morning. How are you? What are you doing here? Apparently like everyone and their mother is at school this morning. I was just logging my board and our maintenance guy started walking down the hallway. So um, I'm going to show you again. So I took down all of our superheroes that were up there. I took down, we had superheroes that were like up around and it just talked about how they were gonna have a super year. So I took all of those down and I had little yellow cutouts on the wall um, that looked like lights. So it was like a night scene and I'm gonna take down the letters today and hopefully get this skyline down. So I got down the skyline view and I'm going to leave the letters up for now and the border as well just so that it doesn't look so ugly until things come in. Okay, 
now that that's done I'm going to kind of just organize like if you're a teacher you know that there's no extra time in the day to file things away or to pick up like the little messes I mean my kids pick up the big stuff I pick up the big stuff before I leave but you can see there's like a stack of papers there I have scholastic orders that have to go or scholastic like order forms that have to go home so I got to get our code put onto those and the due date and all of that stuff. Uh, I just have a couple little things that I wanna do. I have some classroom library books that I need to put back on the shelf. Um, my kids check them in and check them out using classroom book source, but I like to make sure that they are in good condition before I put them back on the shelf and make sure that they actually are put back on the shelf in the correct place. So my kids put them in a return bin once they check them in and then I put them on the shelf but I leave every day at 3:20, so uh I haven't had time to do that so I'm gonna get that done today and just do like the little stuff that I just don't have time for a day to day because ain't nobody got time for that so I'm going to enjoy my coffee and get everything organized So since I have time to show you guys, um, I created this learning progression kind of note sheet and I decided to do this um, with the help of my admin. She was really supportive in me trying to figure out how to get the students to take control of their learning and to figure out where they are. Like our report cards are one through four, one being that they are still approaching the learning target, four being that they are exceeding or above grade level, and three is meeting. So essentially this is your A+, plus, this is your 100, this is your above and beyond. So this is what we are working towards in math right now, is solving equations by adding and subtracting fractions with unlike denominators using equivalent fractions. So. I needed a way to kind of keep track of my learn of my students and I also wanted them to take control of their learning. So I created this sheet yesterday and it says I can list factors of numbers, I can list multiples of numbers. So that is our first step to approaching this. You need to be able to do this before you reach this. Uh, second one is I can solve equations by adding and subtracting fractions with like denominators. I can simplify and reduce fractions. These are two more things that you need in order to approach mastering this. So I created this note sheet and the way that my students are using it is for example uh, I will cover the name. I had a student that I made her go back and fix this because all she put was sort of but um, this is where they are putting notes of where they are each day and they're supposed to put the dates so I put them in for her. It says she can list factors and multiples with help uh, and then another note she made was, I can do the equations. I need help with simplifying and reducing. Awesome. Like, and this is also great for me when I group them. Um, I have another student. He just put, I believe that I can do this and help others sometimes. Just it helps me get to know them as learners and it just lets me know where they are. And I told the kids they need to be honest when they do this. If they don't know something, they need to tell me. No one's going to see it except me. And it's not to get them in trouble. It's so that it helps me help them. And I put on the board help, you know, that you need to be honest. And then I put in parentheses, help me help you. Uh, it's one of my favorite sayings. So I'm really liking this so far. We will see how I go about implementing it with other learning targets, but I will cross that bridge when I get there. Something else I'm also using this unit are these fraction flip books. And this has been amazing. It leaves on the student copy, it leaves this area blank and this area blank. So they fill this in and then I do practice with them. So I will attach the link for this down in the description below because it, it really is a wonderful, wonderful resource. Something else I've been saying that I'm going to show you and I haven't is how I use my Apple Pencil in the classroom. So I use it usually in Procreate. I have used notes, but predominantly I use Procreate. For example, 
I did this everyday use of fractions, decimals, and percentages, or percents. So, and I just wrote on it. I didn't mean to do that, but that's okay. Uh, so, this is just where I jot notes while I'm talking to the kids. Now, this isn't meant for actual teaching, though I have used it for teaching depending on what we're doing. But for the most part, this is just a way for me to communicate with them. I jot things down really quickly, and I project this onto our smart board. And I honestly... Like I have even gone as far as posting their work and I do it in Procreate because this is actually where I do all of my lettering as well. So, oh, my light just shut off. So I can choose what I want to use. I can go calligraphy. I can write like it's chalk. I can do ink and all of that good stuff. So it's just a wonderful, wonderful resource. And like I said, I've even used notes. Like I used this for... Uh, volume. We did length times weight width times height. And this is what we talked about. And then I sent them off on their own to do their own thing. So it's just been awesome. And like I said, I, I honestly, I don't really write on the board all that often anymore. Uh, I predominantly use this and I project it on the board and the kids are there and it's just, it's been really great. And it's just a different way to get them interested, but I just like that it gives me the opportunity to sit and talk with them. I'm not lecturing to them because I feel like students just associate with like a teacher talking and writing on the board with like a lecture, but this, I'm just, I'm sitting, I'm talking, I'm rocking in my rocking chair. Like it's just real relaxing, real chill. And they really seem to kind of feed off that just relaxing energy, but I'm still feeding into the excitement of math. So those are just the new and exciting things that I've finally been able to catch you up on. And I'm just so happy that I finally had a chance to sit and chat with you guys. I don't get to do this often. And I actually get to show you what I'm doing. And it's not just me talking to you because I feel like all of my vlogs, it's just me talking and I want to show you stuff, but I don't have the time. So I finally got to do that today, but I have a couple other things that I still want to pick up. I got my back table cleaned off. I got my student resource shelf picked up. I am going to get their supplies shelf picked up and my table is a hot mess, but I feel like it's one of those things like when I clean and I purge my house, my mom always tells me it has to get worse before it gets better. So I feel like my teacher table right now is like an example of that. It has to get worse before it gets better. And the good news is I have to get it cleaned up because I have to teach today. So. I'm gonna go work on that and enjoy my coffee and then I'm just gonna sit here and I'm gonna relax because I've been go, go, go since I woke up this morning. Hello. Ooh, that's really bright. Okay, that's a little better. So clearly I am home. I did not vlog at school after school just because uh, the fourth grade teacher, who's my teacher bestie, came into my room today and, sorry, I almost just dropped you. <laughs> and uh, we were just kind of catching up. So I am home now and I just wanna take a minute to say how thankful I am. Um, I was hesitant to tell my admin about my channel and it's not because I had anything to hide. I just, I don't know. Uh, I am an introvert. I don't like putting myself out there. I don't do anything new until I'm super comfortable. Like when I posted my first video, it sat privately. I posted it, but it sat private for probably a solid four to six weeks before I made it public. Um, this is completely new to me and I'm still learning how to navigate it and I am still just I'm very shy about it. Um, not a lot of people honestly knew that I even did this and uh, this news article kind of has forced me to leave my comfort zone a little and I'm really excited and thankful and grateful for that. So I told her about it and I just said, listen, like there's nothing, I don't put any confidential information out there, anything that can be linked back to students. May have a first name, but I don't put any last names, like I don't put any information out there, anything of the sort. So I just said, you know, it's meant to be a positive, uplifting thing. Like I just want to share the joys of teaching, but also I want to make people aware of the realities of teaching. So not everything is rainbow and butterflies and blah, blah, blah. So when I was leaving work today, she <laughs> came out in the hallway and she's like, I know a YouTube star and started laughing. So it was just a very like kind hearted thing to say and I don't think she realizes how much that meant to me and means to me. Sorry, I'm letting my dogs out. Come. So I'm just, I'm so thankful. Everyone's been so supportive and I posted about it on my personal Facebook. Come on. Uh, I posted about it on my personal Facebook. So it's just, I've had so much support and kind words from people and it's just, it's been amazing and I am so thankful and grateful that I have the support that I do. Uh, not only from 
admin, but my coworkers outside of YouTube, like my coworkers are rock stars. Um, they are absolutely amazing. They are there when you need to vent or laugh and they are there when you need ideas and tips. I work with an amazing team of women, I really do, and it just goes to show that teachers are rock stars and so we just, we're amazing. Um, but the teachers that I work with really are one of a kind and I am so thankful for them. So honestly, I think about the names of my YouTube vlogs pretty often and I know lately they haven't really been all that original. but. This one, I was going to name it intentional. Like, I've just been very intentional in my teachings lately and what I say to my students and how I teach and all that stuff, but I think this one's just gonna be grateful. Like, I am so grateful for my supportive admin and my coworkers and my family and my friends and my students. Like, I just, I don't know. I feel like this week I really just made a breakthrough or I hit a turning point or something where everything's just coming full circle. And it's just great because I do have my formal observation tomorrow. Like I should be nervous and I'm not. I'm just, I'm excited. My heart is full and I'm just, I'm so happy and I'm so blessed. So I'm gonna go. It is really cold out. My dogs need to come inside. So I will talk to you guys in the morning. I'm gonna go to my son's basketball game or basketball practice and just sit and relax, not think about my formal tomorrow, and hopefully rock that. Hey, I'm Maddie, come, come on. Come here, come here. Come on, come, come here. Come, hi. <laughs> come on. Inside, Maddie, leave him alone. Cam, come on, baby. Maddie, come, come on. Alexa, what's the temperature in Rockland, Maine? Right now, in Rockland, Maine, it's three degrees. Oof. Today, expect a high of 15 degrees. That's cold. Another beautiful day in the neighborhood. observation day and I'm so excited. I really thought I would be nervous for my observations but like I've said previously my principal is in and out of my classroom constantly grabbing title one students because she has a teaching principal and she's just amazing and she always has nothing but wonderful things to say and if she does have feedback like it really is incredibly helpful so I'm actually so stoked that she's going to be in here because I love feedback. I'm a weirdo. I don't like when people say, oh, you have, you know, nothing to work on. And I'm like, no, I'm sorry, but that is impossible. There is always something to work on. But anyway, enough of that. Well, not enough of that because today's vlog is pretty much gonna be all about my observation. So today I have my kids come in, we have breakfast, I send them off to specials. And then as soon as they come back from specials, I have my observation. So I am really glad that it is first thing in the morning in the event that I do get a little like antsy and nervous. but. I don't know, I'm looking forward to it. I have found what works for me and I've already told her that small groups in math are new to me. I've never done them before. I've always done whole group, but it's just not, I don't wanna say it's not working because it is. My kids are brilliant and they get everything that I throw at them, but small group's definitely more beneficial and I told her straight up that I'm not, what is this hair doing? Whatever. I told her straight up like I am not, completely confident in what I'm doing with small groups. So any feedback or advice that you have for me is more than welcome because I just, it's new to me. So it's not gonna be perfect and I'm fine with that. So, hold on, sorry. A girl needs her coffee. Uh, so I bought coffee today because it is observation day. So that's two days this week I've bought coffee and I'm not even sorry about it. Yes, I have a carrier in my classroom, but 
observation day and a snow day well what should have been a snow day but a late arrival call for coffee not tea and i don't have any coffee k cups or else i would make coffee but <clears throat> yeah so today i am starting to teach my kids hold on i am starting to teach them adding and subtracting we're going to start with adding adding the adding fractions with unlike denominators. We spent yesterday reviewing simplifying fractions, that way they're working with factors. Today they're gonna be working with multiples. So it ought to be interesting, but I am excited. I am looking forward to teaching this. I am excited about it. I think fractions are fun, which is funny because I hated them when I was in school. It was my worst subject, I didn't understand them. But I'm excited, I love teaching fractions, I love teaching this group of kids, they are so willing to learn and they don't throw like, oh I don't get this, I'm done, I give up, I quit. Like, they, they're on it. So, we are working on that today. So we are going to, we're gonna, we're gonna work on that today. I am just introducing it and it's gonna be fun. I'm looking forward to it, I really am. So. Uh, so there's that. I'm trying to close the lid without, oh, no, it's not closed. Um, son of a nutcracker. <laughs> son of a nutcracker reminds me. I have a coloring book that is all about how teachers swear and it is the best thing. And I don't know if that one's in there, but that's what it reminded me of. God, that coffee is amazing. If you are a teacher, you know the power of good coffee. Holy guacamole, today's gonna be a great day, friends. I am not nervous yet. I'm sure when she comes in and I kind of get moving, I'll forget that she's here, but I will be nervous at first. And that's fine. I mean, that's normal. It's human, whatever. So, oh, that's what I was going to do. Hold on one second while I write this down before I forget. Okay, sorry. It was just... All right, sorry, my amazing ed tech came in here and I don't know where I left off, but that's okay. I'm gonna go find a simplifying fractions game because that's what we learned and I want them to review today. I don't want them doing hands-on practice or, uh, yeah, I don't want them doing hands-on practice with something that I'm just teaching today because not all of them are going to be working with me to get individual instructions. So I'm gonna go on CPT, see what I can find and I probably, oh no, I will not talk to you guys at lunch today because uh, I think our cutoff for outside recess is 10 degrees and it is currently, well, you heard me ask Alexa this morning. It was three degrees, but that's without the wind chill. With the wind chill, it feels like, let's see. Ooh, it's up to five degrees now. <laughs> With the wind chill, it is eight below. So I don't think my kids will be going outside today or tomorrow. So I won't be in here for vlogging during recess. Uh, Hopefully after school, I can for a few minutes if nobody comes in my room, but I do have to go to the gym after school because I did not go this morning. I decided to sleep in because I'm just so tired all the time and I actually feel really fresh and energetic today in case you couldn't tell. But I'm gonna go on TPT, find a hands-on activity for them and I will update you guys at some point and let you know how my observation went. Good morning, it's Friday and I know my hair is huge. I'm still waiting for my curls to drop, so don't judge me for my like 70s style hair right now. Um, so. So many good things happening today. Um, I really can't get over this hair. It looks absolutely ridiculous. We're just gonna kind of tuck it back. Um, so yeah, I had my formal observation yesterday and I didn't even get to talk to you guys about it because I had people in here after school and then I had to run home and go to the gym. So I <clears throat> I think it went really well. I, it was, it didn't run smoothly as it has in the past, but that's because this is a harder thing that I've taught in the past but it went really well. She did crap me after school just to tell me that the way I was phrasing something to students may is a common misconception, but it may also be something that confuses them. I kept telling them that when you are simplifying fractions or reducing fractions, you're making them smaller. I meant the number, not like four eighths is still a half. So I didn't mean like, oh, you're making like in a smaller ratio or like proportion, I guess is what I'm trying to say. I meant you're making the numbers smaller. So I just have to clarify that today, but she was really supportive and she's like, you know, you're not the only one. Like that's why people don't even call it reducing fractions anymore. And they call it more simplifying and all that good stuff. So, and I, I appreciate, like I mentioned previously in this vlog, like I love feedback like that. It makes me really happy and I just feel so much better about myself. So I loved that she had that for me and it's something that I can work with on work with them today on because I don't want to put misconceptions in their tiny awesome moldable spongy little brains so there's that also I don't know like 
I love my job. Um, I've told you guys that before. I love what I do, but something just like shifted this week. Uh, I don't know what it is, but I've just been so appreciative of my coworkers and admin and like just everything like I have just been so over the moon in love with where I am at this point in my life and then yesterday my kids all of a sudden were just pouring out words of praise to me like I was just sitting here in the middle of reading small groups and one of them looked at me and she goes you know Miss Morrow like I just want to tell you you're were, you were the best teacher I've ever had and we you guys know as educators we hear that all the time but something was different. Like she looked at me and she's like, you know, you're always there for us. You let us email you our problems. You don't make us feel judged. Like you teach us not only school stuff, but life stuff. She's like, you just, you make us feel loved. And I was just like, Oh, my teacher heart. Like I almost wanted to cry. I got a little teary eyed. I'm not going to lie. And it's very hard. Ask my boyfriend, extremely hard to make me cry. Um, so that was just, it was so nice. It really was. I don't know what I did to deserve like where I am at this point in my life but um it wasn't an easy road to get here but it was so worth it but I actually one of them wrote me a letter yesterday and I will read it to you and it says dear Miss Morrow thank you very much for what you said yesterday to remind you oh thank you very much and you said yesterday to remind you on the thing with my phone because she was having problems with her phone she was like you were just gonna have a talk with the class and she's just like thank you so much and I love that you're my teacher this year so it was just nice and when she said that a couple of other ones joined in and it was just so genuine like one straight up told me she's like I'm not gonna lie my previous kindergarten teacher was my favorite teacher she's like but you definitely like are my favorite teacher now and like I said we hear it every day <clears throat> every teacher is their favorite teacher but something was a little bit different yesterday like I am tough on them and I tell them all the time and even actually they're the one that calls it tough love I didn't call it tough love at first um, but I am hard on them but it's a lovable teachable moment kind of hard like I it's just it's tough love and I'm like you guys are capable of amazing things and I'm going to make sure that you get to that point um, so it was just such a great day today or great week this week and I'm just I'm so happy and you know like I said it took me a long time to get to this point I I finished I graduated high school early but I didn't graduate college for eight years I was supposed to graduate in 2013 and I didn't graduate until 2017 so it just goes to show that like you don't know what path you're gonna go I always plans to be teaching and have my own classroom and have a master's and own my own home by 23 and I didn't even graduate college until I was 26 years old 27 I was 27 when I graduated college so it just goes to show that like you can have all of these plans in life but um you are on the road that you are meant to be on um it may suck may not make sense at the moment but I believe that every wrong path I took led me to where I am today because I can't imagine anything better. I love my admin. I love my coworkers. I love my school. I love my community. I literally love everything about my life right now that revolves around my career and outside of my career. Like, I don't want to say everything is perfect. Everything is far from perfect, but everything is perfect for where I am now. So I'm going to leave you guys with that. I have to get ready for the day. It is 7.50 and I have a couple things to get ready for later, but I will check in with you guys at some point later today. Hello YouTube, it is Saturday. It's not even Friday anymore. Um, I am clearly vlogging to you from my car. I'm gonna try to block out that light a little bit. Um, maybe I can actually just turn it off. So, um, yeah, I am vlogging to you from my car. I did not vlog after work yesterday uh, for quite a few reasons. Um, I'm gonna do it with the light on. I, so first things first, after school yesterday, I had to leave my class with another teacher because I have a student that needs physical assistance and my normal person that helps him, uh, my rock star ed tech was unable to. So I had to help get him on the bus. As soon as they were dismissed, I made sure that all of my kids were where they needed to be. And then I changed, got ready, and I went straight to the gym. Straight from the gym, I came home and I intended to vlog for you, uh, but that didn't happen because I got home and I saw a pair of pants on the floor and realized that my dog had eaten another pair of work pants. Thursday afternoon, no, Thursday evening while I was at the gym at my boyfriend's son's basketball practice, she ate a pair of my work pants. So Friday night I come home, she'd eaten another pair and I was like, all right, like two pairs of pants, 
sucks. I can deal with this. I go upstairs and there are three more pairs of pants. So she ate four work pants and one pair of gym pants. And I mean, they're just, there is no, there is the point of no return. Like fully ate the crotch out and like halfway down the thighs. So unfortunately I just was not in the mood. I was cranky. I was tired. I was frustrated. I was just angry. Uh, so today I woke up this morning. We went to my boyfriend's son's last basketball game of the season. Unfortunately they lost by four, but they played their little hearts out. And then I went to Freeport, Maine, which is where we have like small, small outlets. And it's one of the closest large shopping towns. And I went to Calvin Klein, I got a pair of pants. I went to L.L. Bean, I went to Nike. Uh, I went to Old Navy and Target, or I went to Old Navy Freeport and then I went to another town called Topsum and I went to Target there because that's the nearest Target to me. So, I have to go get dog food. I completely forgot my way home. So I got home and then I realized that I am out of dog food. And not many places in town sell blue buffalo so I have to go before this place closes. But I just didn't want to end the vlog off super completely abrupt um, without warning. So I just wanted to kind of let you guys know why that's why I didn't vlog after school. Yesterday was a great day. Uh, we we had a good day, but my battery's about to die. And like I said, I didn't want to end this off kind of abruptly. So you guys know what to do. If you like this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. If you haven't yet, be sure to hit subscribe. And if you have any questions, comments, or anything, please drop them in the comments down below. Thank you as always for your love and support, and I will see you guys in the next one.